Domino Me and Drizzy, this shit like the Super Bowl Man, this shit done it big as the Big as the what? Alright, so uh, We got chest and biceps today It's currently 2.43 And I'm just now about to drink my pre-workout uh, Nothing much has really been going on these last past couple weeks um, besides just chilling and going to the gym, getting ready for, um, trying to prepare myself for school starting back. At, I think it starts back Thursday, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to be focused on that. going to start practicing back. So yeah, just really been a dead week. So, so far, just about like a week and a half. So not too much on the agenda. Just been playing video games with Buck, Davion, Moon, Kale. Um, so, yeah. Man, ain't much going on. Just about to get a good pump. I'm going to start with chest. Anytime I start or do like a two muscle group kind of day, I always start with the biggest muscle first. So, if I was doing shoulders, I do. My chest and shoulders, or say a push day, chest, shoulders, and triceps. I do chest, then I do shoulders, and then I do triceps. Which I stopped doing that because it, that, that that in itself is a really long day in the gym. Uh, and I don't want to record all that footage. And then it'd be like a 45-minute video. So I'm not going to do that anymore. So, yeah. Uh, still got to walk to the gym. And it's still snow and ice in some spots. So yesterday, I literally had to creep to the gym. I had to, and I almost busted my butt like three or four times. But it's finally melting, finally going away. Yeah, that's a good thing that it's finally going away. So school was supposed to start today, I believe, but. They delayed it because of all the weather, the winter weather. They didn't want people driving back and forth in it. So I think they delayed school for I mean, like three or four days. So I'm not going to complain. I'm pretty sure nobody else is complaining. But, yeah. Going to finish this pre-workout. And like I was saying in the previous videos, I haven't showed y'all. But this is the Rise Bazooka Loaded Pre. Classic grape. Not a bad flavor, but I really don't like grape, but this is the only thing they had, so can't really complain because they don't they didn't have anything else. So but yeah. About to finish this and then head to the gym and I'll see y'all there. Peace. If you know me and you've been watching my videos recently, you know I normally start my chest day by doing a incline smith machine press because I'm mainly focusing on trying to build my upper chest right now, but um, the Smith machine is taken. So we're kind of going to start on this, this regular press. Uh, not so much hitting the upper, but hitting the pectoralis major. So not a, still not a bad movement, but we don't have the whole stack on here. Basically just going to see how it feels. Let's get into it. All right, so pretty good first set. I also should probably throw in that uh, I did a little pre-exhaustion on the cable flies. Uh, next set, we'll probably end up putting the whole stack on here. I'm going to have to see how my pegs feel and make sure I don't tweak it again. So good first set. Let's, let's move on to the second set. All right, so... Let me go ahead and stop being a bitch and go ahead and put the whole stack on. Hopefully it doesn't tweak my back, but fuck it. All right. 
right, so good 12 reps. Uh, out of the weather, pretty good. Uh, honestly, felt really good. No pain. Probably gonna do that again. Maybe, maybe two more sets, just depending on the Smith machines. Open. If it ain't when I get done with these, I'll probably move on to some kind of low high cable rods, cable rays. But so let's get to it. All right, so third set starting this. Uh, like I said, I've been feeling pretty good. Let's do it again. Let's see how it feels. All right, so uh, honestly, felt pretty good. Mm, I want to move on to incline Smith, but can't. <sighs> Trying to think about what else I can do. I guess I can do dumbbell. Uh, Incline presses. I think that's what I'll probably do here. I'm we'll gonna move on from this and go hit some dumbbells. All right, so we moved on to incline dumbbell press. Got the 80s for a first set. Let's go ahead and take them for a ride. <coughs> Uh, good first set of this. I don't know why I felt so unstable, but maybe because I haven't done uh inclined dumbbell in a in a good minute. So I'll probably stay right there for another set, maybe another two or three sets. Chest, not really pumped. I can still pop my peg, so. But let's get to the next set. All right, so second set, let's get to it. All right, so go ahead, do what you, do what you need to get. Be good, bro. All right, so yeah, no problem. Um, I felt a little bit more fatigued than I normally would, but I could be from pre exhausting my chest and getting that other um, seated pressing movement before. But we're gonna let that stop us. We're still gonna keep going. I don't know if I'll drop five to ten pounds after this. We'll have to see. Or I might just take a little bit more of a rest. And then have a, but let's get to it. All right. So started my third set. Trying to do the same thing, but let's get to it. You're good. Um, 
I think that's going to be the last set of that. Then we're going to move on to some flies. And then end off with that Sam Soda type movement. I don't know what to call it. Flies. And we're just about jumping right into this. So let's get to it. So, good news, I didn't feel my peg straining when I crossed. So, I can tell it's um, getting better and uh, healing up. So, hopefully I can get back in the bench and pretty heavy and doing all my normal movements soon. But yeah, first set of that done, move on. All right, so same weight, but about three minutes. Let's go ahead and bust these out. Probably do one more set of that and then move on. All right, so I decided to go ahead and move on since I did those pre exhausting sets. So let's get to this. So, I really don't know why, but it feels like I get such a good contraction, this short range of motion. It's, it's pretty crazy. This disc can contract. I feel like it's just tearing all your inner, inner pet. Yeah, the first set, probably do two, two more of these and then move on to biceps. All right, so go ahead and move on to the second set. Pump cover off. All right, so I don't know if you can see it on camera, but my whole pecs just contracting in the inside. When I go across, and with those 20s, I could just about go all day. So my key to know uh, when my pec has had enough work, when I feel it more in my shoulders coming across, see, my shoulder's gonna activate here. My front delt's gonna activate when I go across. So 
obviously I can keep repping it, but I know my pecs are gone and pumped when I start feeling it in my front delt. So that's one key reason that I know when I'm pumped. And pretty good chest pump. Like before I started these, chest pump was in. But as you can see, it gets you pretty fucking pumped. So we'll probably do one or two more sets of this, just depending on how this next one feels. And we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna keep the same uh, camera positioning, but it turned out no. Right, just to see, can you see this? My chest contraction. Uh, yeah, let's go up one click. I'll go up one click since I did 15. Uh, probably get around, try to get around 12. Um, let's get to it. Biceps pretty pumped. I don't know. I feel like today I'm not really feeling it. Uh, but even though I'm not feeling it, I know I got to get it done regardless. Uh, so nobody, no matter how I feel, I will get a pump and I will proceed. So this is a message for you if you're watching this. No matter how not motivated you feel, no matter uh, no matter what what's the cause you don't feel your normal self, just do it. Get it done. You'll feel better once you get the shit done. So yeah, good second set. Honestly, if I do one more set of this and then I move on to something else. All right, so I did a little warm up, uh, kind of alternating dumbbell curls over there, but I haven't done a filler rep of this. So we got 60 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna do a single arm freaky curl. Let's get to it. Yeah. <sighs> 
That's it. All right, so my right arm felt stronger than my left arm. So I could only do 15 on this arm. So to avoid uh, any imbalances, in muscle, muscle growth, I will only do 15 in this arm and vice versa. If this one feels like it can only get 12. Even if this one can get more than that, I'm not going to um, get more reps than that. That makes sense. But yeah, good first set, good contractions, good squeezes. Um, just a W lift. 